What to do guys, it's your boy Julian back at it again. Today, not with a food review, but I'm, I'm gonna show you how to make food. Now today, I am making um, a famous recipe, I'm making a five star stir fry. That's right, stir fry, nothing, nothing cheap. Um, and we're, and we're outside, outside because uh, we need to look for, for the other ingredients. Now, I already have a sriracha. If you, if you don't have sriracha and you're trying to make stir fry, you're doing it wrong. So that's why today, that's why today I'm going to be making some stir fry and I'm going to show you guys how to make stir fry. Because as you know, people like stir fry. Lots of people like stir fry. I like stir fry. My dad likes stir fry. My grandma, my grandma likes stir fry. So yeah, let's go. Now I came to this location to find the stir fry because I heard it, I heard there's a lot of, well not, not stir fry, but the ingredients behind stir fry. Because I heard um, this is ravaging this area. Oh, Oh my god. Do you see that? Guys, I found the first ingredient. Ramen. Fuck is you dumb bitch. Okay, but I found it. Okay. I'm 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 gonna go get it. Okay, I got it. I, I got the ramen. Now there's one last ingredient we need to get. I didn't. I didn't get the soy sauce. Soy sauce from the, from the store or something. <laughs> but not me. Today I'm putting you up with some good shit, man. I'm I'm picking the soy sauce straight out. Okay, this is the place I was talking about. I was talking about right here. Let's look at this. There's a tree right here, and on and like there's like and beside it. It grows soy sauce, so I was gonna, you know, pick it, pick it from right there. So yeah, let's go. Oh my god! I got a soy sauce. Oh my god! Look at that! I found it, man. Okay, let's go. Fucking landing. Okay, yeah. So, really, like, look at this. I had to climb up there. Look at this. Okay, there's yeah, there's these bricks right here, right? So I climbed on top of this wall, went across this, and I step on that with my feet and grab onto that with my arm. So now let's get back to the house and let's uh, make some good ass stir fry. Hey guys, okay, so again, yeah, this is the step one to making some stir fry. For one, cook some ramen about halfway. Make some uh, halfway cooked ramen. That's step one to strain it, so you gotta water it. Then you need a light. The uh, stove. It's like now I got your stove there. You need to uh, light it up. Uh, I don't know. Swing it, I guess. I'm I'm not a chef. I mean, I mean I'm a great chef. Okay, so you know, kind of light it up. Then we're gonna need to take some butter and put it on the pan. Once it warms up. I don't take like this much butter. It's pretty good. Put it on there. Uh, then you're gonna want to, uh, you know, make sure the butter the butter spreads across it. So do that. Get this at this. That's too much butter. Uh, this is actually for a single serving of a uh, ramen stir fry. So I'm just let you know that. Unless you had the stomach the size of a peanut, I guess it would be for more than one serving. Now I just gotta let it melt because I put too much butter in there. But that's fine. Okay, now we're gonna wanna put the ramen in there. Bruh. Okay, well that didn't work. Maybe turn down the pan a bit. Okay, that's turning it up, yeah. 
Now we're gonna wanna stir, stir it around, and that's why we want to stir fry, because it fries as you stir it. Now, if you're a master chef like me, obviously you can do some uh, you can do some chef tricks. Fuck, supposed to happen, um, obviously. I want to see if you guys can notice if it was a, you know, if I was doing it on purpose or not. So, since you flipped it, so it'd be all good. Let's let it sit there for a bit. Let it sit there and uh, but keep staring at it so it fries everywhere. Now you're gonna want to add your uh, seasoning. I use since I'm a master chef, I use uh, chicken flavor. Um, I don't care what flavor you use. I don't put all in there, or else you're not, or else you're not gonna add any stir. I mean, any soy sauce in it. Add like I don't know a bit of it. Like I don't know, that's that's a, that's a good amount. Just put it down. I'll stir it up so all that yellowness gets everywhere. Yeah, you might want to turn that down a bit, stove. Now, as you can see, it's looking pretty good already, right? It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good, pretty good. But, you see, that's not all you're going to add to it. You're also going to add some uh, soy sauce. Now, me being a master chef, I don't actually need to measure how much soy sauce I put in there. Because I just know, from my instincts... Hey, so that's pretty good. It's gonna taste like some chicken. Like chicken, I, I like chicken. No, add the soy sauce in there. So watch what I do. Uh, you know, let's put, let's put it in there. So do this. Now it starts sizzling again, right? So stir it around. Remember, stir fry. It fries as you stir it. That's why it's called a stir fry. If it was called just a leave it there fry, it would fry as you leave it there. Just as like a deep fryer, um, a deep fryer, because when you put the things in there, um, it fries it and it goes deep in there. Um, now, see, now I do a little taste test to make sure it doesn't taste like cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, mm, okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. Now, if you like spicy, which all my viewers hang out there. Y'all y'all like some spicy stuff. Um I have to use sriracha. I I got my eye. Okay. That that kinda hurt. Now put it in here. About that much in there. Can you see that? No, I can't really see that, but that's how much you need to put in there. Just um master chef that shit. Now if it starts looking like blood. And it starts turning too red. That's, that's how it's supposed to look, as you know. You really can see that? It's looking pretty good, right? Now, if I'm a master chef, which I know I am, master chef, best best chef in the world. Oh, what's in my eyes? Kind of broke my eye. Okay. Now, I are gonna want to flip it. Remember, master chef style. Hey, okay. So now I'll fry the other side as equally as the top. Then it turns into goodness. Oh, now I need to taste test this shit. Mmm, it's pretty, looking pretty good. Now that's some good stir fry. Um, if I tasted some good stir fry, which I know I have. This is some good stir fry. See that shit? It's looking like, let's look. If it, was, if it was in the shape of a brain, this looks like a pretty good brain. And you know what's done? When you can just, when you know what's done, master, master chef style. Now guys, this is, the, this is the hardest part of doing this. Now, you need to taste the stir fry. This would be a good thumbnail. Guys, yes, you, you have to taste it because this actually my, I mean, my dinner, so it tastes good. So I nice, nice gotta taste it. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, if you liked the video, 
It's actually good. This actually tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. It actually tastes good. You should try making it. it tastes pretty good. And bye. Well, I'm Easy E. I got bitches galore. You might have a lot of bitches, but I got much more. With my super duper group coming out the shoot. Easy E, motherfuckers, cold knocking the boots. Cause I'm a hip hop thugster. I used to be a monster. If you heard.